Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Tuesday, June 2nd. Monday we had a bouncy day as we can see the market breaking lower. Well, that's what that shadow tells us. But what did we find? We found buyers and that means I'm looking for follow through to the upside. However, on Tuesday, not a dramatic move, but I'm looking for buyers to hold their own here. So an unchanged, a slightly higher action for Tuesday. In the currencies, well, the euro, it's it doesn't know what to do, actually. I would say it's breaking lower, but it's bouncy at these lower prices. The market's not really sure what to do at this particular currency, and what I'm looking for here is a sideways move. In the notes, we broke, and we rallied again, and we broke. I like that kind of behavior. The difference between the uh, bearish level here and the bullish level that you see here that difference in that market let me give you an idea what that magnitude of change is it's two hundred and fifty dollars per contract over here in our friend mr. bond the difference between the bearish level and bullish level in that market is one thousand three hundred seventy five dollars per contract I am looking for follow through to the downside for the rest of this week but nothing dramatic for Tuesday and in gold well, we rally and we break. We're on both sides of the fence when it comes to that particular market. No real strong sense of direction. I was looking for an unchanged type day, and that's basically what we have there. I had some questions regarding silver, the way it trades, uh, the difference between that bearish level and bullish level in that market. Uh, we talked about that on Friday. It was $1,650 per contract. Now, the way it trades is in, is in 0 .005 uh, increments. And that gives you an idea, and that value, I should say, of that size of change, to give you a feel for that, is $25. So when it moves one full penny, that's $50. Or when it moves 10 cents, that would be $500. So I'll give you an idea of how that is calculated for our friend Mr. Silver but let's move on I'm looking for sideways moves and the precious metals and when it comes to crude oil yes we had a rally it is bouncy depends on the US dollar I'm looking for a sideways move in that market and I feel the same way about Mr. Bean uh, soybeans a sideways type move here we did trade above that bullish level the difference in soybeans between that bullish and bearish level here to give you an idea of that magnitude of change uh, as far as size of move that would be one thousand five hundred and fifty dollars to give you a feel for that per contract over here in wheat uh, we also trade traded above this bullish level the difference between the bearish and bullish level in that market is eight hundred and fifty dollars I'm looking for sideways moves across the board in the grains well that concludes today's market studies thank you for being with me i'm looking forward to being with you again and as always take care